Good morning, my name is Nick, aka The Limey, and welcome back to Things I've Learnt on YouTube. Actually, today, we're doing something a little bit different. It's not Things I've Learnt on YouTube, it is Things I Have Learnt on TikTok. So, right. So, today, it's Things I Learnt on TikTok. For quite a while during lockdown, I got a little bit addicted of scrolling through TikTok, checking out what's going on and seeing what people are doing. Now, I'm not getting into people miming or doing the voiceover, talented as they are, has no interest in me. But there's quite a few people doing some really cool things with art. Now, most of you probably don't know, but I'm actually married to a professional artist. In fact, her dad is also a professional artist. So art is a huge part of my life, whether I want it or not. And I am a little bit, a little bit creative. Now, not artistic. So what I thought I'd do is I'm gonna take three of the things that I've seen on TikTok, three of the art challenges. I'm gonna give them a go. I've had no practice, never tried this before. I just thought, you know what? Let's give it a go and see what happens. So guys, that is what we're gonna do. Okay, so here we are, and I've got a menagerie of things that I'm gonna to try today. So the first thing I thought I would try and do is what's called an acrylic pour. It seems to be the easiest thing. Take a whack of acrylic paint, pour it into one cup, pour it in the middle, let it go everywhere. That is the first thing I'm going to do. So I've got my canvas. I've raised it up a little bit by putting a few screws in. I've also used that to level the canvas on my workbench. Um, the reason I've leveled it is because as I pour, I'm going to have dribbles and drips all from the sides that I want to make sure I can clean up, okay? I've got an assortment of random colours of acrylic paint. I've got some stirring sticks. I've got some big cups, and these are the ones that I used to fill when you pour on. And I have some smaller cups as well for the uh, mixing of the paint. Uh, most importantly, I've got water. Not gin, this is actually water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the acrylic paint with some water to make it nice and thin and flowing. And then, if you've seen these things before, this, I think, is what I need as well. So this is some silicon um, oil. I'll put a couple of drops in each one of the tubs of paint. So that way when I mix it, it breaks down, it creates what's called cells, okay? That's the theory. Let's see if I can do it. Let's go. Now the next step is to pour them all in here. So, I believe you pour them at an angle. I've got a blob in that. They should not mix. So what you want is all of the colors to stay separate. Oh, this is quite runny, this gold. Why it's not that runny. Brave and daring black. Oh yeah. Oh, green's quite runny. Ooh, that's a good blue, isn't it? Lovely cerulean blue. So 
So what I'm trying to avoid happening is just getting really muddy colors. And then I'll go back to the beginning. That red wasn't mixed very well at all. A couple of blobs in it. So here we have the somewhat finished product. So you can see, I'll just scooch right in all of those cells. This is the silicon oil reacting with the other bits of paint. I'll come over here with the lights a bit better, there we go. So we finished the first project. It was so much fun. I even got the kids involved. It is a few days later. I've given the paintings some time to dry, I've given them all a coat of um, a varnish just to bring it back that shine. Fingers crossed. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this episode. Right. Projects number two and three. I need to turn this place into something that looks like it should really be on Dexter. So I'm going to get wrapping some plastic back in a second. Well, let's get Dextified. So for the next TikTok art project that I've seen, um, we're gonna use one of these, one of those, and the Dexter style crime team that we've created. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna do the, the pendulum art. Um, there's quite a few people that do this really, really well, and I throw it out there, I'm probably not in one of them. Uh, I recently saw a Dude Perfect video. The guys absolutely smashed it. Well, except the tie. Uh, the guys absolutely smashed it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this cup, um, just purely because it's clear and it's see-through. Um, so it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna make this the cup that we fill into. I'm gonna pop some holes into the bottom. I'm probably gonna pop one hole right in the middle. Do it now while I'm talking to you. And that's gonna be the hole that everything goes through. So, Ooh. now, what we're going to do is make some more watered down paint. We're going to fill this with paint. And then hopefully it will run out in a stream. And as it does, it creates this amazing sort of gyroscopy pattern. So let's get rid of that. So that's what we're gonna try and do. So the idea is we're gonna fill this full of paint and use a plain white canvas. Uh, I might give it a quick coat of 
um, of colour, I might pick a colour, give it a quick paint. We're going to start on a small canvas and see how this goes first. We learned a lesson last time. Um, and then we'll put some paint in this, let everything dribble through. I'm going to do a layer of black paint. I'm going to go into a layer of silver paint. Um, I'm going to make them really quite runny, really quite watery. And then hopefully we get a nice um, consistency and it just goes everywhere and makes it look beautiful. So that's the plan. Let's do it. Don't step in the stuff. It goes everywhere. Look at your paws. Show me your paws. Paw? Is it clean? Paw. This one? Yeah, and the other one. Cool. That'll do. Technical tip. Remove any puppies from your paint area. Dirty and I was. Well, that didn't work, did it? So let's say that's a learning lesson. Uh, this is what we've got left. I think, try not to walk into paint. I think the problem was that the paint just wasn't thin enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some more black paint. I'm not gonna do the silver, so I'm just gonna do straight black paint, do a full cup of it, and make it as watery as I think I can get away with. That, I think, is the best plan. I'm gonna make it in a, a bigger cup so I've got more space to uh, to mix it in. Let's do it. Now, I generally don't think there's enough weight of the paint. Um, so as it got closer to the bottom, it just started dribbling and blobbing and not really doing anything helpful or productive. So, and two big splooges in here, and then we'll add some of the water, which is from the old black paint. And you can see that was nearly all water, just the remnants, and you can see how dark it is. So I'm wondering if we're just not doing it anywhere near wet enough. We've obviously got to make the cup again. That's fine. Imagine what artists with talent have to do. I mean, I'm just some dude in his garage throwing some paint in the cup and mixing it with water with no technique, no skill, no expertise on this matter. So my, my wife's an artist, my father in laws an artist, and they, they spend forever just fixing a colour. I'm just like, I'm going to use black, stick some water in it. Job done, right? It needs to be runnier than that. Oh. Okay. I mean, I think that is probably as runny as we want to do, and that's a good half a cup. So 
on a little canvas like that, it should be fine. I'm also going to drill the holes in the bottom of this one. <clears throat> this is the final art project as you can see today's been a bit more of a challenge the garage is absolutely filthy and the reason that we created the dexter style laboratory is for this final final one this is something that i've been wanting to do since i saw it on tiktok so I'm hoping this is going to be a lot easier than the pendulum swing. I really enjoyed the acrylic pour. Hopefully this is as much fun. So let's go. You missed some stuff in the middle. Put some more color on there. Let's go for round two. Okay, so adding more colours does not help, I'm going to be honest, it just hides what you already had under there. It's a great purple though. Sorry, I'm down here, my arm's really hurting. This really aches. Okay. That's what I miss. I've got to do it. I'm sorry, I want to color it in. I mean, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? I'm thinking less paint, more angles.
and that is just amazing. That's a proper kapow, 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 kapow. I think we're about to call this one done. I've had so much fun. I've got absolutely filthy. The garage is a absolute bomb site. Got paint all over me, paint all over my shoes, paint everywhere, let's face it. But guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. My name is Nick, AKA The Lime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment on this video. Tell me, tell me how I can do the pendulum thingy properly. I'll, I'll try it again. Tell me if you enjoyed this. And you know what? As we're doing this, let's do it properly. Ugh. <laughs> Guys, my name is Nick, aka The Limey. This has been Things I've Learned on YouTube. Make sure you catch us on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, thank you. Take care. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. And it's a ticket.